movements. Thank you very much. I'm in a rather uh, special, uh, difficult time because we've just eaten, and in my country we have a siesta at this time. But I'm going to try and you know, capture all possible. Uh, eminent members of the Academy of Sciences and the Academy of Social Sciences, uh, Marcelo, many, many thanks in capital letters for having uh, organized this meeting, a meeting which uh, brings together many aspects uh, and many places and in particular for giving us the possibility of speaking for uh, social majorities which are sometimes excluded. Um, dear mayors and uh, public, it's, I'm very, very glad to share with all of you this event, in particular because it is a task which I greatly admire. Being a mayor is uh, a way to exercise politics in favor of what is local, what is nearby. Uh, human beings without f losing sight of a universal perspective of life, but knowing that people live in neighborhoods, on streets, in cities, and in fields. My name is Charo Castillo, and I'm representative of the organizing committee of the World Meeting of uh, People's Movements, which uh, recently brought the um, Pope together with uh, thousands of uh, movements from many countries. I'd like to speak to you. We'd like to bring a number of proposals in order to build integrated cities with um, lands, housing, and work for everybody. Um, I'm a worker. I'm not a uh, mayor. I work in a company. And from this experience of having with me thousands of workers informal workers, um, agricultural workers, uh, people collecting grubbers and people who work uh, from home and all those people who've uh, brought us a lesson of sincerity today. Um, um, it's all these people who are behind me. Today in every uh, city, two cities coexist, but they don't live together. One city um, overwhelms the other. People have been expelled from the fields, uh, people who've been set aside from the labor market, um, discarded into the peripheries like human waste, at the mercy of the waves of uh, precariousness, exploitation, and slavery. It's something which we've seen this morning. In this context of great uh, vulnerability affecting uh, billions uh, of people. Modern slavery expands in a shocking way. It is a business where the uh, dead and the exploited come from the poor, but the money is set aside in the The answer of states uh, is usually reductionist. Uh, at times, migrants are uh, cruelly persecuted, uh, even under the pretext of protecting them. The wall between the US and Mexico, the people drowning in the Mediterranean. And I would like to uh, commend the uh, mayor of Lampedusa for what she said this morning of violence against informal workers are examples of criminal hypocrisy which must end. Modern slavery is not just a police problem, but the consequence of an excluding system. In order to curb this um, um, a terrible crime. We don't need more patrols or biometric systems. A lot of times, uh, the police uh, are part of the criminal structures involved in this uh, bloody business. In order to change this destructive uh, reality and to uh, punish those who are responsible, we have to listen to peoples who organize themselves and fight for their dignity. We have to give power to the poor. Slavery and exclusion are two faces of the same medal. There are slaves because there are people excluded. And therefore, from a humble experience, but also with the great uh, energy of uh, listening to our brothers who suffer and who are also capable of providing solutions to these local and universal problems, allow me uh, to put to you 10 suggestions for a um, pop, uh, uh, to build cities without slaves or excluded people. First, 
power and participation for the people. Political power has to listen to the cries of the poor, who, despite their majority, never take on public positions. Officials of the tend to reflect from the comfort of um, affluence and a quality of life which isn't uh, attainable by the majority. So democracies tend to be s simply formal. Participation of people's organizations is fundamental to revitalize them. We suggest uh, politically to establish uh, standing uh, mechanisms for consultation and uh, participatory uh, participatory um, mechanisms for consultation and uh, suggestions. People's councils in various sectors, housing, work, and other forms of direct uh, democracy. Protest is a right and should never be repressed. The Pope recognizes that the future of uh, mankind to a large extent is in the hand of the organized poor, and it's the time for the states to recognize this too. Secondly, giving priority to peripheries, the Pope indicates that the um, excluded are often in last place when action is taken. This is something which is particularly clear when we uh, look at uh, municipal budgets. Inclusion needs to be a political and a budgetary priority. It is uh, urgent to invest in peripheries, particularly uh, in slums where a third of uh, people now live. The Pope says, uh, not eradication or marginalization. We need to follow the line of urban integration. And we bring the proposal that all neighborhoods be given uh, adequate infra infrastructure and uh, security in their um, upkeep. Uh, denying basic rights like drinking water is uh, a crime, whatever the legal situation of a settlement. We suggest that uh, thousands of uh, jobs be created through neighborhood cooperatives in participatory urban planning for development of social infrastructure, opening up of um, works, placing street lighting, uh, waterworks and sewage, sewage systems, uh, improvement of housing, um, maintenance of uh, uh, squares and uh, cleaning uh, waterways and building community spaces. Houses for all. It's a scandal that there are families without housing, uh, even when there are so many houses without families. To guarantee the right to housing, we have to stop um, property speculation, which creates uh, uh, profit but not housing. One needs to protect tenants and avoid um, abusive increases in rents. We should not allow families to be evicted without an alternative, at least. When a worker does not have a house, he is exposed to being exploited in many ways. We suggest creating millions of jobs with uh, programs of self-construction, uh, provision of uh, areas with services, and community-owned areas and uh, reusing abandoned buildings for housing. This can be funded with uh, taxes on unused uh, buildings. Not one family should be without a house. Fourthly, hospitality of migrants to combat um, trafficking and adopting a policy which uh, does not um, take into full account migrants is very hypocritical. Traffickers of people, human traffickers, um, feed on institutional xenophobia in some states. Cities which try to eradicate uh, uh, bonded work should receive migrants with love, provide uh, documentation, job opportunities, and full rights. We suggest the reg migratory regulation of all. No legal. Being a migrant is not a crime. Criminals are. What is criminal is the causes which uh, lead people. Uh, public transportation should not be a torture and should be available to everybody. Uh, ecological um, effective uh, transportation should be used. We suggest the use of um, cycling paths, uh, that there be major investments in underground system, trains and other forms of collection, uh, including all inf informal uh, transportation systems. We think that they should be 
free or placed with uh, differentiated social rights. Urban mobility facilitates uh, the freedom of circulation. And we also propose um, forms of um, popular economy. And uh, governments should make uh, suggestions in order to uh, have uh, these um, integral and uh, people's uh, ecology. There are cartoneros, people who go through the rubbish, who recycle city rubbish in many cities. Uh, cities, uh, these people are uh, harried. We think that uh, policies, inclusive policies, uh, should be improved without uh, people recycling waste. We don't have zero waste. A real uh, ecological position is always a social position. Eighthly, integration of um, agriculture and city. In rural municipalities, one should promote uh, peasants, indigenous and agroecological agriculture. Uh, we should recall that the Pope says that uh, ag agrarian reform is a moral obligation. Problems of cities can never be uh, solved if uh, the peasants be continue to be expelled from their lands. Nine, ecological people's culture. The consumerism we have, uh, which is promoted in the media, is one of the main crisis, crisis, reasons up for um, environmental and social crisis. We suggest that media be community-owned, radios, TVs, and uh, community magazines, which express a solidarity-based counterculture. And we suggest that um, stewardship of the earth be included in uh, all um, publications. A lot of these, um, we need to create uh, public community spaces. Ten, people who are privileged should be the children and the elderly. As the Pope, of, Pope pointed out, uh, children in a street situation is a criminal euphemism. These are abandoned children. Poor young people, instead of being loved, are seen as dangerous and become uh, victims of um, easy triggers. Many thanks.